Second Wound is technically the third full-length album from Plowshare, a Canberra, Australia-based black and dissonant death metal band who, I, I guess, uh, the, the reason I say technical, that this is the third full-length album, their second one was an EP that had a full remix uh, on the second side. So uh, call it what you will, it was a full length in, in uh, technical terms. Otherwise, this is a band that definitely took from the classic uh, kind of portal sound and from a blackened point of view. They, they invested more in uh, atmosphere and black metal over time. And uh, by the time they reached their 2022 uh, second LP, Ingested Burial Ground, they reached for fully uh, experimental noise, almost like industrial or post-industrial influenced sounds uh, mixed with dissonant black metal. It wasn't a concoction that, that blurred subgenres so much as it, it did something completely outside the realm of extreme metal and then had some remixes on top of that to further um, abstract away from extreme metal. And that was really interesting. I thought that this record was going to be very much as experimental as that but really what they did was they, they found a lot of uh, movement and temperament temperament in that ep that uh, they've expanded upon in terms of the general vernacular they've included on this record. So for me, Second Wound is really the second full-length album from the band, uh, both in terms of the continuation of their canonical sound, as well as taking a lot of cues from the previous record. You might get a driving bass line that they, they used that was a Ranzi Pazuzu-esque on that uh, Ingested Burial Ground EP, and then uh, they're going to mix that into a nine-minute black and death metal song that sounds like dodecahedron at their peak. So it's a pretty interesting record. We'll cut to a clip here and get a sense for the, uh, the estranged, um, hard-to-pin-down mood of this record. <laughs> So the theme of this record is based on uh, Christian mysticism, a, a, a book uh, from the uh, late 1300s. And so what we get here is a record that speaks to the uh, almost the possession of, of God uh, in the story and uh, twists it into a darker angle the way they approach it. It makes for interesting subject matter that fits the, the kind of deranged point of view that these folks present in these long form um, death metal songs, essentially, but they're, they're often atmospheric and and dissonant in more of a, a, a dissonant black metal way today. There are uh, rhythmic influences from jazz and uh, different types of fusion in that sense, but they're not playful so much as they're dark. And I think that's what makes this band fairly unique on this record. It sort of recontextualizes their sound into something that is distinct and interesting. And I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't expecting to like this record after their EP, and I generally find it to be an upgrade. I wouldn't say that this is a memorable record so much as an experiment, experiential one in the, in the sense that we get some uh, different modes of rhythm. We get a very different types of songs, but they're all fairly involved in long form and they're interesting because of their immersive movements more so than they are standout riffs or uh, certain vocal lines. And so this will be for someone who likes to immerse and pay attention to a, a uh, black and uh, dissonant death metal record. That's a pretty natural assumption if you're listening to one at all. And I think that if you focus in on the details, this will probably probably be a strong experience, an, an overwhelming experiential type of deal. And if you're just here for the vibes and just want to feel the aura of Plowshare, you'll get it. But I think that it won't be as memorable uh, uh, beyond the introduction that they give, which is pretty impressive uh, overall. Again, I think this is the strongest material from Plowshare to date. I think this is a, an exceptional record in general. I think they could go a lot further with it. I actually, I think it's one of my only criticisms of this record is that uh, as far as they went with their last release, this one uh, tempers it back and make sure this is a listenable uh, sort of deal for the black death metal fan. And I think that for me, they could have just gone a little bit further with it because they fully incorporate a lot of those ideas, but uh, it could have been pushed just a little bit more. So that's not a bad thing. Uh, I really enjoyed my time with this record. And again, that's a high recommendation for me. Uh, check it out. It released on November 8th and uh, read my review for more of my thoughts in depth on uh, how this record plays out and how much I enjoyed it. 